My name is Dr. Shanice O'Mara and I was facilitating the plenary debate on the connected nation and looking at issues on how we can strive and thrive in a digital world. I think for me the main points were really the importance of collaboration between industry and academia. Um, having a connected nation uh, is such it provokes so much of a gigantic debate. Um, you know, what are the risks? What are the opportunities? How are we going to cope with them? How are we going to foresee them and be prepared for them? Um, and also, what are the dangers? Uh, because, you know, it sounds fantastic being uh, more connected than we are today, but what does that mean in terms of securing our future? For me, the most powerful message was just how important it is for industry and academia to work together. Um, you know, academia has this enthusiasm for really kind of progressing and taking technology to levels that are, you know, exciting and pioneering and uh, groundbreaking. But how do we apply all of that knowledge in industry so that we're actually you know serving society and the economy in an effective way well something that came out of this conference is that there is such a broad range of research going on and that's really exciting but how do you contain that um, and you know after being at this event today it seems to be you know still a question that we aren't yet equipped to answer yet I think we're very much in the um, excited stage of just what we can do and um, you know, getting to grips with the opportunities that exist. Um, and it's nice to be in that kind of uh, cloud nine stage of a connected world. Um, but yeah, there's much work to be done and uh, so much more to be understood. And uh, certainly as a mechanical engineer that typically deals with nuts and bolts, it's really interesting to be kind of catapulted into this digital world because it's, it opens up all these realms of possibility that as an engineer I've never really thought of. So now after being at the event the term connected nation means so much more than it did at the beginning and it's really you know it comes under three main categories which is the internet of things, um, big data capabilities and security and uh, so now you know for me, a connected nation is very much about those three main subjects. Um, and I'm really interested to know how that's going to affect the ordinary person on the street. You know, it's very exciting to think that all of our things can be connected wirelessly. You know, from opening your curtains in the morning because of a sensor detecting when the sun's rising to, you know, controlling your light switches and heating before you get home using your smartphone. So the possibilities seem endless. And I think one of the, the most urgent things is to really make sure that um, we all understand what the future holds in terms of a digital world. Because I think some people uh, are still not aware of it. I probably am extremely biased when it comes to research because I spent four and a half years um, doing a doctorate that was funded by the UPSRC and uh, it was one of the best years of my life. So in terms of research I would encourage anyone that has a curiosity about something particularly in STEM to pursue it because when you engage in research it's something that uh, when you go through the process and you complete it. Uh, it's, it's a set of skills that no one can ever take away from you. Um, and you're contributing to the body of knowledge, which is uh, such an important thing to do, I think. Um, and then research as a whole is really exciting. I mean, it is cutting edge. It's what makes Britain ahead of the game. Uh, more research needs to be done, particularly in STEM subjects. So um, I would encourage anyone to you know, get involved in research, um, participate in research, and just keep Britain on the cutting edge of scientific knowledge because it's been our history and it should be our future.